A scam warning from the FBI is giving us another reason to think twice before posting online. Voice cloning technology is introducing a whole new ball game for scammers. Richard Ransom is here tonight to show us more about how it works and how you can protect yourself. Yeah, as if we needed another thing to worry about online, right, Yvonne? You can think about this like the grandparent scam, you know, where the caller pretends to be your grandchild who's in trouble and needs money. But this twist is much more real because scammers can literally clone real voices, whether it's yours or someone you know. The problem is so bad, the FBI put out a warning about voice cloning scams after this father got a terrifying call from his daughter. It's someone crying, I've had an accident, Dad, help me. But it wasn't her, it was only her voice. The only thing you're going to hear is something as fast as, Dad, I need help. It's not going to be a full conversation. That's FBI Supervisory Special Agent Andre Hernandez. Then they start doing what they do every day, which is they try and keep you on the phone for as long as they can so you don't hang up and then try and make those calls that need to be made. Agent Hernandez says drug traffickers are using this voice cloning scam the most, especially where drug money flows, such as I-40 that runs through Arkansas and Tennessee. In some cases, they don't have a plan. They just dial any number and try and get any victim that they can. Artificial intelligence is invading many industries. Voice over, voice acting is, um, no stranger to this. Voiceover actor Ron Allen says a trained ear can pick out a cloned voice from the real deal, but technology is advancing so fast. They're very, very close to picking up on the emotion, the uh, inflections in a voice. Absolutely they are. I think it's going to be within the next couple of years, if not sooner. So how do you keep from being on the receiving end of these phone calls? The FBI says whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, social media is where criminals are looking for victims. You take that photo of that young kid with the name of their school on their chest, and then you take a picture, another picture of a car with a partial license plate, maybe the whole license plate. So now you just gave him your name, address, your kid's name, what school he goes to, and unfortunately, some of these nefarious groups, that's what they do all day. Post a video with your voice and you could be a target. Bye-bye. Ron Allen says he never responds to a spam call either. Not his name, not even hello. I will mess with them uh, and say things like tomato sandwich and they have no clue what to do with something like that. Or it's a sunny day today and they don't know what to do with that. There's no response. But experts say the best protection is watch what you say and scrub your social media profile because even videos on a friend's pages could put your voice into the wrong hands. If you have a thousand friends, you're lying. You don't have a thousand friends. You might have 20. So go start deleting some of the 900 and 950 friends that you have there because they're not your friends. All right, if you think you have been a victim of a voice cloning scam, another option is to immediately call back the person whose voice you just heard and make sure it's them.